गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल फॉर टुडेज वीडियो आई फील लाइक आई एम बैक टू माय चाइल्डहुड बिकॉज़ आई एम वेयरिंग वन ऑफ माय मोस्ट फेवरेट हेयर स्टाइल आई यूज्ड टू वेयर एज अ किड आई एक्चुअली यूज्ड टू गेट ऑल ऑफ माय हेयर ब्रेडेड बिकॉज़ आई हैव ऑलवेज हैड स्ट्रेट हेयर एंड आई लव्ड कर्ली हेयर एंड दिस जस्ट यूज्ड टू गिव मी द मोस्ट गॉर्जियस पर्म और बीच वेव और यू कैन आल्सो से आई एम लुकिंग लाइक दैट डम किड फ्रॉम सोल्जर दैट कैन आल्सो बी अ गुड इक्वेशन बट दैट्स नॉट द पॉइंट ऑफ टुडेज वीडियो माय हेयर इज नॉट द कंसर्न ऑफ टुडेज वीडियो टुडे वी हैव अनदर स्पीड रिव्यू फॉर यू गाइस सिंस यू गाइस लव स्पीड रिव्यू Use. and today I have a relatively newer brand that I discovered. It's Relove Revolution or Revolution Relove. I'm not too sure about the positioning of the brand, but basically it's a sister brand by Makeup Revolution, which is supposed to be more fun, more playful, more affordable. Even though Makeup Revolution is an affordable brand in itself, I feel like the price positioning, at least in India, is a medium premium category. It's not the most costliest, but it's not the most affordable as well. So this is a great entrant in the Indian market. All of the products I've picked up are under rupees five hundred, so that just gives me butterfly. Guys, in my heart and in my tummy, because you guys know how I feel about budget beauty. So I'm not gonna blabber anymore. If you guys wanna know my views, reviews, and everything in between on the products I picked up from Relove Revolution, then please keep on watching. The first product I picked up from Relove Revolution is their Super Bronzer. Now this does come in four shades, so that's a good thing to know. We do have a little bit of diversity. However, I would like to see it go up a notch with a couple of more shades added in there. Now this one retails for piece four ninety nine, and you get six gram of product in there, which is quite a decent size of amount that you are paying for. Now when we talk about the packaging it comes in a plastic packaging with a clear top so you can see the product in there it does not feel cheap or light by any means it does have a nice thickness to it and it closes with a click so you know that you're secure and the product is safe even if you do tend to carry it in your bag the word bronzer is also embossed on the product itself so it's a cute little detailing added to the product now let's quickly talk about my shade the texture usage and everything now i'm using the shade desert which is one of the most perfect tones out there it's neither too warm nor too cool it's a very neutral sitting in between shade which looks so flattering on me because it's not supremely warm where you're going to look like an oompa loompa but it's not so cool that you're going to look like a dead corp so it's one of the most gorgeous undertones and i love this shade when we talk about the texture it's very finely milled and it's very softly pressed so when you are swirling your brush in there you will pick up a lot of product and there might be some kickback in the pan but it's so easy to use it's so blendable you guys you don't have to work hard with it the texture honestly feels like butter you guys it's so creamy so soft so blendable this has to be my favorite product and if you were to pick up only one thing from this video this has to be it i love it the next product we're going to talk about is called blush and this is a highlighter and a blush duo and this retails for rupees 499 for 6.8 g of product so effectively this is equitably distributed you have 3.4 g of product in each of those pans now when we talk about the packaging again it comes in this clear plastic casing which is really accessible and easy to use because you can see through the colors it does not feel cheap or flimsy by any means it's very very sturdy so that's something i really like You do have seven shades to choose from in this range, and I chose the shade Daydream. This duo is a combination of a brick orange blush alongside a warm candlelit glow highlighter. Now let's start off by talking about the blush. This is a supremely pigmented formulation, so you want to make sure you don't pick up a lot of it on your brush. And if you do, dust off the excess on the back of your hand because if it goes straight onto the cheeks, you are gonna end up with a really, really pigmented cheek. However, it is very easy to blend, and you can tone it down with the help of a little bit of powder. But why to reach that? situation you know so i did apply a lot of it by mistake on one side of my cheek but on the other side i made sure i went in with a little bit of lighter hand and this looks gorgeous on the skin this is great for people who have warm or olive undertones because this is going to bring out the warmth of your skin i rarely see beautiful blushes in this color in a matte formulation so i was so excited the blush is the main reason why i picked up this duo because i do have a lot of highlighters that look very similar to this highlighter but this blush is something i was craving for in my collection now let's move on to the high highlighter which is the other half of this product and sadly i have to say i did not like this highlighter at all i like the blush a lot but the highlighter is just not it for me it's a very texturizing product and by that i mean it emphasizes my skin texture so much it did not sit smoothly on my skin so that was kind of a bummer i even drenched myself in makeup fixer to make it look as smooth as it can but even after that it did look kind of textured and patchy so the highlighter is something i would give a thumbs down to i would only recommend you to buy this duo if you are on the lookout for a beautiful blush under a budget but other than that if you are looking for a beautiful and just glowy highlighter this one is sadly not it 
And the last product I want to talk about are their eyeshadow palette. Basically, these are six pan eyeshadow palettes. So you do get a nice variety of color in there. And you do have about 10 variants to choose from. I chose the most colorful variant because I do have a lot of neutral palettes. Now, this one retails to rupees 4.99 and you get 5.2 gram of product in there. Now, I'm not too sure about the distribution amongst these eyeshadows because as you can see, we have very different pan sizes going on. But basically, this is an all matte tress pigment palette. Now, I'm not too sure how well that stands true for the other eyeshadows shadow palettes since there are some metallics in the other ones i'm not sure if they are pressed pigments or not but these are all pressed pigments and again the packaging is a see-through plastic packaging doesn't feel flimsy doesn't feel cheap so that's something i like let's move on to the shades and how they swatch now because these are pressed pigments they did not swatch the best and i was a little underwhelmed with the swatches because they went a little patchy and i was a little weary of how well they're going to wear on the eyes but i was so surprised on how well they blended on my eyes let's go through all of the shades and how I use them to create the eye look that I have today I wanted to use all of the shades to show them to you in action so I started with this base shade which is almost my skin tone and I used a fluffy brush to apply it all over my lid as a base shadow to make sure everything else blends on top really beautifully then I moved on to the yellow shade and I applied it with a fluffy brush in my crease and this was so pigmented and has so much impact but it still blended out seamlessly which is something I like I moved on to the orange shade next up with the help of a shadow blender brush and I applied it in my crease just to intensify my crease up and get a little bit more punch going on in there. Next up, I used this hot pink shade with the help of a flat shader brush and I applied it all over my eyes. This is supremely pigmented but still is very easy to blend. However, I'm not gonna lie, it looks like gulal on my eyes of sorts. So next, I move on to the black shade and with the help of an angled brush, I applied it like the liner. This is the most unpigmented color of this palette. I'm not even sure if unpigmented is a word. I'm sure it's not. But this is not as black as I would like it to be. This is very grayish black, like a muted black. I'm not really sure how to put it in words. But the last color I used was this blue on my lower lash line just to bring a nice pop of color to my look. And that is how my complete eye makeup looks like. Pretty colorful, I have to say. Honestly, if I was going into this palette just by myself, I wouldn't be picking up all of these shades. This is not a very cohesive color story. This is a great accompanying palette if you already have a lot of neutral palettes and you're just looking for pops of colors. By itself, it's not the best color story, I have to say that. However, I also have to mention that these colors, no matter how pigmented and blended, they are do have a tendency to go slightly patchy so you might have to layer them a couple of times to get them to the opacity that you are looking for especially the pink shade right here but yes that is everything i had to talk about in this particular video do let me know if there are any other brands that you want me to review on speed reviews and i would love to do them for you guys i'll see you guys next time till then take care i love you all so much bye mm -hmm.